Hello and welcome to the studio again. Um, today I'm working on a. Uh, today I'm just having fun, actually. I can put it that simply. I'm uh, I'm trying to just do stuff to sort of uh, awaken my imagination, and so these are more like um, exercises for me to do because I've been doing so much work that has been aimed towards something specific. So when I do my own stuff, I tend to do either like experiment sound wise or I do stuff that um, that has like some kind of general idea uh, as of like a, a bigger thing, maybe a texture or something. Yes. So what I've done now is that I've um, recorded a little uh, thing from one of my favorite Turkish folk songs, A Little Loop, and uh, it goes something like this. <laughs> Wonderful, and it's got that really great. For one thing, the tempo is pretty solid, so that's great. And another thing is that I really like the the falling character of it. Uh, and uh, so I want to have a rhythm underneath that, or at least some kind of grid that I can like stick stuff on top of. Uh, so what, what I'll do later on is that I'll uh, I'll loop the whole thing. So I'll get one bar that works with the uh, with the Turkish folk melody, and then uh, the drum machine. And the drum machine I'm using is one of these Electribe ER1 that is terribly old and probably no one uses because they're terribly uncool. Well, I use it because I like it and it's very, very simple. So we can listen to, if we've got the... Yes, and you've seen me do this thousands of, thousands of times, and I go like, well, this is great, but what can I do with it? Because I don't want to leave it like that. Because if you listen to the, I don't know if you can hear it through my crappy mobile phone, but there's like an ambience in the background of the, uh, of the loop that is kind of like a low, uh, low mid kind of sound. So one easy way of doing when I tie stuff together is to try to find frequencies in all of the sounds to create like a at least an illusion that all of the sounds are actually taking place at the same in the same room so we get the elect tribe in the same room with the turkish guys and then maybe we've got a barbecue and someone's got like some kind of pool or i don't know case of beer and then all of a sudden everything's grooving and everything's fine so how am i supposed to do get the cord to be in the same world as the turkish guys well it's kind of the easy way is, of course, to use the modular system. Because what I could do then is that I could take a filter and then I could just like, emphasize those frequencies. Or I could also take it through a reverb and emphasize the an EQ, the reverb, so you've got the same thing going on, right? Yes. This is a shiny piece of uh, equipment and it's got uh, plastic sides and it's very light. You can probably take it as a carry-on on your local airplane thingy but what I did was that I didn't want to do the modular thing because I've done it so much so instead I'm using the uh, uh, audible disease sampler and this is a uh, wonderful device that I use uh, quite a bit and it's a digital sampler so it's going to be all clean and high fidelity esque and what it does is that up here you got the uh, how much power, I don't know if you can see that knob there, it's how much power you actually feed the battery. And the less power, uh, the slower it goes and it gets more and more broken. But I don't want to do anything with the, uh, with the tempo because I, the tempo is fine now. So I'm very pleased. And that was of course done by ear, these things. You can do that, you know, it works. 
So if we just listen to it and we'll uh, sample it into the machine and you can maybe understand why I chose this device. If we could hear anything. Ah, there you go. It's always like one cable missing. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so now I've sampled it into the loopy thing and here we go. <laughs> yes! Uh, and this is the first thing I've done all day. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be great because it's got that low thing going on. And also, it, 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 it makes this thing that's made out of plastic, makes it rusty. <laughs> we have to listen to it one more time, right? No! I destroyed it! Ah, fuck. I'll have to redo it. Well, anyway, you know what it sounds like. This is, this is, if you've seen my little snippets of films before, you know this is how it works. So I've erased it forever. I'll have to redo it. So it's going to be different. No, it's not. Um, and, uh, well, there you go. I think we should end this film by checking out Chad and see how Chad is doing. It's over here somewhere. Isn't it, Dan? Yeah. There you go. Chad. Woo.